let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are sons of the soil. Everlasting God will deliver to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba, Olumba, a Buddha supernatural teacher. First lesson, Romans chapter 9. Verses 8 to 9. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Second lesson, Galatians chapter 4, verses 28 to 29. Now we, brethren, as Isaac was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the spirit, even so it is now. Golden text, Galatians chapter 3, verse 29. And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. Quote, Brethren, all those who have come here with problems, difficulties, tribulations, and afflictions, so look at me. Those who have the fervent trust that when they see the Father, their problems are solved. This is true. Every person should look at the red garment. And when you look, all your problems are solved. Do not look at the bright light here, nor at the various equipment and appliances. But focus your attention on me. You are all freeborn. You are not children of a bondwoman. It is a thing of pleasure that the Father should choose to open each of the Pentecostals with the children of promise, the sons of the soil. Many of you have been referring to this meeting and rightly so as the meeting of the children of promise the true children of God and those who will rule over the entire world you will not only rule over this world but also the world to come this is not because you requested for it or that you are worthy but because God had promised that you will inherit this kingdom. The scriptures have truly said that it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of God who shows mercy. You, therefore, have the right to be glad, to sing and dance, because this generation is the luckiest of the generation. Most of you are still ignorant of the fact that you are the real children of God to whom this promise was made. That is the gospel for today. The manifestation of the sons of God. Brethren, when you read through the three texts, you will be able to determine your position. At this point in time, there is no preaching but rather to reveal and confirm what was preached to you in the beginning. A great number of people are wondering why Brotherhood of the Cross and Star members should be persecuted, and why members of the church denominations are not persecuted. You will observe that as the children of the bondwoman persecuted Isaac, so it is today. So, brethren, there is no word of God that does not come to manifestation. 
when the word of God arrives, he breaks great rocks and accomplishes his will. For the world has long waited earnestly and expectedly for the manifestation of the sons of God, and this is the fullness of time for that manifestation. If you were, if you have doubted this truth in the past, please doubt it no more, because the word of God has revealed and has laid everything bare and expose your nakedness. Therefore, not all Abraham's children are his children, but through Isaac shall the family be named. Neither because they are the seeds of Abraham are they all children of promise, but in Isaac shall the seed be called. In spite of all the commandments, the administrators are the children of the promise through Isaac. Christ, the unifying force. Brethren, not all the inhabitants of the world are the children of God. It is only here in the new kingdom of God that you can find the children of God and the children of promise. Do not doubt any longer about the glory of God which has been revealed unto you. This glory is not derived from man. It does not emanate from the angels. It does not come from any other thing, but it is the glory of God. No person knows about the glory, nor does any person understand how it comes about. But one thing is certain, and that is, all the children of God inhabiting the surface of the earth, be they white, black, or colored, they will be collected together. It was for this reason that our Lord Jesus Christ came, in order that the children of God and the children of promise might be united together. He died for the sake of the children of God, and the children of promise. This is the fullness of time that God wants to reveal the children of God throughout the entire world. You are true witnesses to the fact that the main reason that the Jews killed our Lord Jesus Christ was that he being a man arrogated to himself the position of the Almighty God Christ is God's son, the heir. Brethren, the people of the world erroneously claim that God has no son, and they do not want to hear anything about God or anything which comes from God. This is the cause of their anger. They further claim that God does not exist and that they do everything and own everything. That is why at any time you mention to the people of the world what the Father says, they become very annoyed. Identification of the heir to this throne of God. Brethren, you are aware that persecution started right from the beginning when Cain killed Abel because Abel was the child of God. Since then, persecution has continued against the children of God, the children of promise. This condition of affairs has shown itself actually so that after bearing or reading this, that after hearing or reading this gospel, you will know why people persecute you. Not because you have money or children or because of your high position, but because you are a child of God, the child of promise. For this reason, no matter what you do, 
No person will take cognizance of you. They will not take cognizance of it. They will continue to persecute you because you are a child of God, a child of promise, and the heir to the glory of God. What apparently you must do is to pray to God to have mercy upon you. Joseph was the eleventh child of Jacob, and all the other ten children of Jacob hated him because he was a child of promise. This alone explains the reason why his brethren persecuted him. Do not doubt it. Do not complain if the world hates you. Be glad for you are a child of God. A child of God is like one born into a royal family, as in the case of the Queen Elizabeth of England. Any child born into that family cannot be beset with ill luck. Such person, such position does not require any application, neither does it require educational knowledge, nor righteousness, nor physical structure. But since you are born into the royal family, you are a prince, and a prince is a king. That is why the scriptures say, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven, and whose sins are covered. And blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Who are those whose sins? are covered except the children of God. Tell me why you should not be happy, why you should not make a joyful night to God and why you should not sing and dance in praise of Him. You should be happy because of this glory were to be, because if this glory were to be bought with money, you would not have enough money to procure it. If the glory was to be acquired by academic qualification, you would not be able to acquire it. Neither would you have it were it to be acquired with the worldly power. You would not because you have no power. In what way then would you have acquired the position of sonship of God? Can you observe why your souls should be exceedingly joyful because the promise of God is today fulfilled in you. The manifestation of God's promise over his elects. Brethren, you should therefore not claim that you have been elected because you know how to fast or because you have been paying your tithe, or because you pray incessantly. You are elected not because of fasting, but because it is according to the promise of God now made manifest. You are aware of the fact that some people distribute all their wealth, others do not marry at all. They neither steal nor fornicate, nor indulge in concoction and charm, nor wear talisman, nor do they believe in anything evil. But since they are the children of the flesh, they have no glory greater than this, and this glory is most important. Illustration the heir to the throne, brethren. The situation I am telling you now can be compared to your grandfather who had slaves and these slaves became very wealthy. They had children graduated in institutions of higher learning in the Western world were as intelligent and brilliant as they were beautiful. They had motors and other properties. You are ugly and poor, but since you are a son, a freeborn, the son of the soil, and heir 
your position is not only greater, but also higher than that of any of the slaves. Most of them hate you. In spite of their wealth and strength, they may plot and plan to exterminate you because the moment you stamp your feet on the ground, your decision becomes final. Wherever you go to, you are the highest cock to crow, the monarch of all that lives. Their wealth, their status, and their handsomeness serve them no useful purpose. You are the only joyous person because you are the son of the soil, the heir to the throne of glory. No matter how exasperated they may be, their wealth are in your own pocket. Until doomsday, they can never attain your height. I am merely using earthly things to illustrate heavenly things. All that I am saying pertains to the things on earth, and they are carnal. You are to think of the everlasting glory which is being revealed in us. This is the glory which a great number of people have been eagerly waiting for. Abram, Moses, and others have been pondering whether they would live to see the glory, and that glory is now being made manifest in you. No, we do not preach nor reveal the word of God. When the worldly people complain, no, we do not preach, but we reveal the word of God. When the worldly people complain that the children of brotherhood are proud and pompous, I ask them, who would have such a father and would not be proud? Read the first lesson again. First lesson, Romans chapter 9, verses 8 to 9. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Those of the flesh are not the children of God. Brethren, have you heard the word of, of God read out to you? That is why it is said that the word of God is like a bullet. It is said that not the carnal children are real children, but the children of promise. They which are the children of the flesh are not the children of God, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Those who are born of the flesh are flesh, and those who are born of the spirit are spirit, and so you are those born of the spirit. You are the children of God. And before the foundations of the world were laid, you had been the children of God and will continue to be the children of God forever. Most of you here are making great efforts to drag your mothers into brotherhood. Do not drag them because if they were not born of water and of the Spirit, they have no share in this glory. Most of you also have very loving brothers and sisters whom you so love and you try to bring them into brotherhood. In spite of their deep love for you, they will not come because they are children of the flesh. You should take notice of the family from which our Lord Jesus Christ came. He had many brothers and sisters. But he was the only one selected 
because he was a child of the Spirit. All the others were not selected because they were of the flesh. This glory is not such that one can use his high education to acquire it. Most of you have been praying that your father and mother and brother be selected, be elected. Stop your prayers because the election into this glory is not based on your prayers. If they are not the children of the Spirit, they cannot be elected. Do not forget that if all members of your family are children of the Spirit, the Father will bring them in and use them. Do not say that you are the one who converted your Father to come and share in this glory. No one is capable of bringing any other person. Any person who comes in here does so as a result of the long expected promise of God from the beginning. Now is the revelation of the children of God. This also explains why someone will not respond to your invitation, but at God's own appointed time, you find them singing and dancing in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is the promised land, the new kingdom of God. Brethren, you have the reason and the right, and you are lucky to live till this time that God has chosen to reveal his own children to the entire world. That is why you should not drink or indulge in anything worldly and traditional because this is the promised land made for the children of God. You have nothing to do with the world. You have to deviate completely from anything mundane for in this kingdom everything is done according to the will of the Father. It is called the new world because the carnal people do not know the children of God. And this new world means invariably the kingdom of God. And so every action in this kingdom is taken in accordance with his wisdom, with his love, with his whole behavior. He teaches us his own ways of life his practice, his goodness, and his virtues, we should not live like the worldly people since we have no connection with the world. This kingdom is your community. It is your village. It is your town. It is your city. It is your family. In it, you have your brothers your sisters and fathers and mothers. You have no other country. This new world is your own country. Brethren, many people continue to ask, why is it that once somebody becomes a member of brotherhood, he forgets about his father and mother and brothers and sisters and friends? It is the promise of God which is today fulfilled. He said at the fullness of time he would collect all the children of God together. This is the fullness of time and all children of God are now united together, both blacks and whites. You will actually be bamboozled that all the children of God throughout the entire world will be gathered together forever. You will not find carnal people here. If they come, they will be driven away, but you do not have to drive them away because they will stay away by themselves. People of different races and nationalities will be brought together from the four corners of the world because they are children of God, they will ass 
assemble together where they will uh, where they will live perpetually in joy dancing and singing and doing those things which give glory to God this does not imply that the children of God will not render services and give gifts to the children of the world and will minister unto them giving them food and raiment and praying for them and will also go about doing good to them the children of God are heirs they own everything their own power wisdom and administration because the rulership of the world is now defunct this was the promise of God made for Abraham that he will beget a son and that one child is Christ and this is the fullness of time for the heirs. That is why there is no distinction among the persons here. No differentiation between a man and a woman, between a child and an adult between the rich and the poor, between the strong and the weak. But he is all in all. We shall now have our second Bible, Bible lesson so that you can see the reason of your hatred, your persecution, oppression, and suppression by all sorts of things.